All right, so we are about to go work on our our long line recalls, our outdoor recalls. Um, this is in preparation to having her be off leash reliable. What is going on? So she is wearing an e-collar. I am not using it. It is just for her to get used to wearing one so she doesn't recognize when it's on and when it's off. She has a prong collar on at the top. Um, I, might, I may try clipping her long line to the prong and giving her a little prong pop when she is distracted because I'm ultimately trying to get her distracted and recall her from those distractions because she listens great, obviously, when she's locked in. Zula, good girl. Um, I have, this is a horse lunge line, but there's long lines that you can buy online. So, got my treat pouch, got kibble. We're ready to rock, free. Okay, that's just rude. Sits. Uh-uh. Good. Mm-mm. Sits. So if she doesn't listen, I'm just gonna give her some upward leash pressure. Uh-uh. Good. She knows she's not supposed to rush out. I'm actually gonna grab up her leash. Free. Okay. All right, see we're pulling so hard. Lord, get out of that. All right, so I have her double ringed on her prong now and I'm just gonna release her. Free. It is kind of rainy and gross out and I just curled my hair, so this is not ideal. Zula, come. Yes. Mark, reward. And then she can run away. Um, I'm. This is a very informal recall. So she can just run up to me. I say her reward marker and she can leave. Because it's a release and reward marker. If she doesn't listen right away, I can give her a little pressure on the prong. Zula, come. So right there. Uh-uh. Yes. I was about to start again with that one. <clears throat> uh uh, that's a freaking turd. It's disgusting. She gets really distracted up at these houses here, especially these. Zula, come. There you go. No, come. Yes. So that's what I'm looking for. I need to have enough experiences of her choosing not to come to me out of distraction and then, and then working through it as well. Because if I keep her in a situation where she'll always not be distracted, then I have no hope when I enter these situations. Zula, come. There we go. Yes, and I'm still gonna reward her after I correct her, cause she's young. She's learning and it's like the corrections, I'm conditioning that to just be communication, not necessarily like, wham, that sucks that you had to feel a leash pressure. It's like, no, that can be a cue into, into a behavior like a gas pedal, into what I want you to do. Zula, come. Yes. And she's young. I, I wanna make it awesome every time she comes back to me. I'm the most interesting. Even if I did have to help you a bit. Cause she's young, she's a puppy. Of course she needs help. Ooh, is that spooky? Careful. Sometimes the alley cats live in those.
<laughs> Zula, come. Yes. That one I heard a little bit of vocalizing. That's okay. That is a okay. He's a good girl, yeah. You wanna stick by me? Good girl, it's a good choice. Stinks out here. <clears throat> Zula, come. Yes, good girl. Tail wagging. Very nice. Off we go again. There we go. Zula, come. Yes. Yes. So she thought about not listening, but she's remembering that when I ask something, you know, she's gonna have to do it anyways. She's remembering those little leash pops for not listening. Zula, come. Yes. Very nice. So I wanna make sure I get these experiences in on the prong collar right? before I move to the e collar. I think that's a good starter starting um, intro to the corrections for the obedience before I add in the e-collar. Zula, come. Yes. Okay, so we ended our session and I'm really happy with how it went. I feel like we got a lot of opportunities in where she was distracted enough and I communicated to her when I say come, it means come through using the leash pops. So I'm really happy with how that went and I could see, uh-uh, uh, please. And I could see a change in her thinking when I would say the word, oh, I'm not gonna say it right now because she's on place. When I would give, her, give the command and I could see she thought about not listening and then she decided to listen instead. So definitely once your dog is got an idea of what that command means, start adding in a la layering in the leash pressure. Um, and for her, a flat collar is just really, she pulls against the flat collar really bad, um, which is also what I would expect her to do in bite work. She's kind of, I don't know, it doesn't help. It triggers a bit of oppositional reflex for her. So I have to pop it very firmly for it to communicate to her. So instead I'm using the prong and I can even double ring it. And that way I can give her the correction that I need and layer them in lightly. So she starts to understand that come is not an optional thing. It is every single time it's said, 
there is a follow through. So that's what I wanna start doing more of and I'd like to do it in more scenarios before I incorporate my new e-collar. I just wanna emphasize the e-collar is not going to train your dog for you. Your training trains the dog and there is a tactful way that you need to incorporate the e-collar so that the dog actually understands what you're communicating. You're, you need to be tactful about when you apply some pressure, how much pressure you apply, and then when you take it away. And it needs to make sense in the context of the training that they already understand. So, e collar is not gonna train your dog. I'm not gonna slap it on and then just click buttons. So, be responsible with it. It's an amazing tool. Be very responsible, do your research, and then you'll be golden and you'll get to enjoy new freedoms with your dogs. Anyways, that's all I have for you. I hope this video was a little bit helpful for you. I know it wasn't very long. I'm just trying to get stuff done. I, f I figure no, a short video is better than no video, so I'm just trying to hammer them out and just show you guys as I'm doing things. It's not perfect because she's not a perfect dog and she's not done. But I figure that must be the most helpful at the same time because there's so many videos where people are using dogs that already understand what they're doing that are already fully trained and uh, I really want to take you guys on the process of of the, pro the training process and it's not always perfect there's not always good reps um, and I want to be more transparent and just show you guys it's not always pretty it's not perfect it's it takes a lot of practice and a lot of work. So don't be discouraged. Um, keep working on it and keep at it. If you guys have any questions, drop them below and I will answer them. And if you have any suggestions on what content you'd like to see from me, I'm always open to hearing that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it helped. Please like and subscribe, share with your friends, share if it helped and see you in the next video.